uh, in the past said you'll do anything, and you say it again, that you'll ensure Iran would not acquire nuclear weapons. Does that also mean, sir, that you would use uh, force against Iran? Is that what that means? If that was the last resort, yes. Mm -hmm. And would you work on Israel with that kind of thing? Have you received any assurances from I'm not going to speculate on that. Yeah. But uh, Iran cannot get a nuclear weapon. That was President Joe Biden during an interview with an Israeli news network saying that he would be willing to go to war with Iran to prevent them developing nuclear weapons. Which is a huge problem considering one of the other promises he reneged on was re-entering the Iran nuclear deal which prevented Iran from developing nuclear weapons. You know, the nuclear deal that Donald Trump ripped up and actually made the world a little less safe by doing so. Now, Biden also reiterated that he's committed to keeping the Islamic Revolutionary Guard on the US State Department's foreign terrorist organizations list, even if it means sinking the prospects of a deal to revive the nuclear accord that former President Donald Trump violated in 2018. And I want to note that there were some negotiations between Biden and political leaders in Iran. These negotiations happened in Vienna earlier this year to restore the nuclear deal. But since Biden is unwilling to loosen the sanctions, the deal fell apart. Well, if they're willing to re-enter the Iran nuclear deal, why wouldn't you lift the sanctions? Anyway, um, here was his blunt response uh, regarding taking the uh, IRGC off the State Department's foreign terrorist organizations list. Are you committed to keep the IRGC on the foreign terrorist uh, organization list, even if that means that kills the deal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't matter how hawkish Biden's answers might be because the leadership in Israel, the leader of Israel, not happy about this, okay? He would like to see more. So let's talk about Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid, who immediately contradicted Biden after Biden said, quote, I made it absolutely clear, we will not, let me say again, we will not allow Iran to acquire nuclear weapons. And he followed that with, I continue to believe diplomacy is the best way to achieve this outcome. Lapid not interested in the diplomacy aspect of this. He wants a much more hawkish military approach. And he says, quote, words will not stop them, Mr. President. Diplomacy will not stop them, he said. The only way to stop them is to put a credible military threat on the table. Well, good luck to you. The United States should not be involved in that. You want us to fight your war? They, by the way, you're escalating for no reason. So I'm supposed to work as hard as I do. All these Americans all across this country have to work as hard as they do to fund Israel's war against Iran when there is a diplomatic solution. Not interested, not interested. Yeah, so Biden, of course, is a weak loser. So he goes and kisses Lapid's ass and says, okay, okay, I'll, I'll try to start the war for you. I promise, I promise. Now, you might say, oh, well, that seems strong. Cenk, what do you mean try to start a war? Do you know that this, uh, the Revolutionary Guard being on the terrorist list, you know who did that? Donald Trump. Why would you continue Donald Trump's policies? I thought we voted against Donald Trump, right? And do you know that that group already has tons of sanctions on it? Putting it on the terrorist watch list only adds a little bit of extra sanctions on it. It's mainly symbolic. It, it actually, so he's saying, I'm willing to go to war. And if they have nukes, I'm willing to attack them and maybe have a nuclear war over a symbolic thing that doesn't mean a goddamn thing that Trump put into place. Yeah. Okay, why? To satisfy his boss, the Israeli Prime Minister. And what does the Israeli Prime Minister do? Back of his hand. He goes, Not oh, good you, enough. you weak loser, you gave me everything I wanted. Yeah, get back in there and do what I told you. Start the war already. Oh, by the way, are you gonna join us, Israel, in the war? Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna keep our citizens safe. We're gonna get you more on Americans to fight our war for us. And, and, pay, and pay for, for the war, it, too. And pay for it after, I mean, billions, tens of billions of dollars under the Obama administration provided to Israel for their military funding. And that's on top of the yearly foreign aid we provide to Israel, which by the way, provides universal health care for their people. We are unable to do that here in the United States somehow, but we can fund that 
in another country. Great, great, that's awesome. By the way, if Iran really did pose a serious threat to Israel through the development of nuclear weapons, they could rejoin the Iran nuclear deal. Yeah, that's We it. could do that, right? But Israel doesn't want that. <laughs> it, Bennett didn't want it, Lapid doesn't want it, and obviously Netanyahu didn't want it. They don't want peace. They want us to attack Iran. Hey, Israel, look, I hate it. I don't want you to do it. I think it endangers your own citizens. I think it's a terrible idea. But if you're so hungry for war, what's stopping you? Why do we have to do it for you? I just answer the goddamn question. Why do we have to do it for you? Why don't you start your own war? I mean, you're pretty good at it. When no notice though, what they like to pick on defenseless people. The Palestinians don't have almost any weapons at all. They can't control their own borders, they have nothing. So every once in a while, Israel will go and bomb the living crap out of them, kill thousands of citizens, and then they'll shoot and murder doctors and reporters. But Iran actually does have conventional weapons. And that could actually hurt Israel. So they're like, no, 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 we don't want any piece of that. We want America to fight that war. Bunch of suckers that we totally control. Look at their, look at their president coming here on his knees. On his knees. It's unbelievable. It I mean, I, it's not unbelievable. I mean, this is the most predictable reaction and response from Biden. I do want to make one correction because I did notice that some of the reporting indicated or alleged that the uh, the US State Department's foreign terrorist organizations list is not that big of a deal. It's mostly a symbolic gesture, it's not. It's actually a huge deal. And this is the type of stuff that cripples Iran. And most, most importantly, it cripples the people of Iran, okay? Same with Cuba, Trump did this with Cuba as well. The reason why it's not just symbolic is because think about it. If America, a superpower that has this massive military, notes that this country is on their terrorist list. Other countries are far less willing to do any business with those countries because they're worried that that would ruin their relationship and their trade partnership with the United States. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you understood. They already had tons of sanctions on them. Yeah. This is layered on top. Yes. Okay, now important things, to be fair. So first of all, Iranian Revolutionary Guard, I don't want anybody to mistake what we're saying. Iranian Revolutionary Guard, terrible, okay? The government of Iran, terrible. It's an authoritarian, theocratic government. We got no interest in them. In fact, the idea of them having nuclear weapons is a disastrous idea. That's why you should re-enter the deal, which was 100% working. Yes, it was. They had no uranium. They had no way to make nuclear weapons because of that deal. But no, no war, 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 war. Because right wingers in Israel and right wingers in America just lusting for war. Now, to be fair though, there there was terrorism involved here. There was terrorism. Uh, several of the Revolutionary Guard were assassinated, just shot, killed, dead cold in the streets. Oh, But Israel did that. Is Israel on the terrorist watch list? They assa- you know they assassinate civilian uh, physicists in Iran, uh, professors. They uh, assass- murdered an Iranian professor who was a civilian in front of his kids as he was picking up the kids from the kindergarten class. But Israel's not on the terrorist watch list, they just murdered uh, Shireen Abu Akleh, uh, one of the most renowned uh, journalists in the Middle East. They shot her in the head and they murdered her. Yep. C- even CNN acknowledges it. Is, is, uh, is the Israeli Defense Force on the terrorist watch list? Oh No, no, in Washington, these are unacceptable questions uh, because we're right and they know we're right. That's why they're like, Shh, you're not allowed to talk about it. Well, too bad, we are talking about it. Last thing, uh, when uh, Biden was there, he also, uh, just to make everybody even more happy, uh, took a shot at progressives. God. And so uh, in that same interview, when asked about progressives who were saying, hey, maybe we should treat the Palestinians as human beings. He said, quote, there are a few of them, I think they're wrong. I think they're making a mistake, okay? So dismisses progressive, he goes and attacks progressives. Now remember, there's groups like APAC, Democratic Majority for Israel, etc. They were spending millions upon millions of dollars against progressives in primary elections today. They're probably now the number one enemy, political enemy of progressives. We didn't ask for that fight, they asked for that fight. They spent all that corrupt, corrupt, corrupt money in all those races. And what does Biden do? Because he's a corporate Democrat, he's like, "Oh, I love you guys, I love you. Keep giving me corrupt money. Oh yeah, you're right, progressive. Puh. Okay, and then he says, but he's never good enough for Biden. So then you know what else he said? He said, there's no possibility, I think, of the Democratic Party or even a significant portion 
of the Republican Party walking away from Israel. So he says, don't get me wrong, the people who are really guilty in America are progressives. But I'm 100% a dog of Israel and I will do anything. But hey, also remember, Republicans love you too. Unbelievable. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? What is wrong with you? So he attacks his own and then he says, no, Israel, don't forget though, my lovely, lovely, wonderful Republican friends, they also love Israel. Why are you doing an ad? Why are you doing an ad for Republicans there? Guy's a total and utter loser. It doesn't matter, I can say anything I want right to his face. And he's gonna do a goddamn thing about it. Yeah, I'm a progressive, so he would save all of his political weapons for us. He would never touch his yep. beloved Republicans and his beloved donors. But come at me, Biden, come at me. You're not gonna even do that. You're so weak, you're the weakest man I've ever met. So go kiss more ass, that's all you're good at. More importantly, don't run again, just step aside. We need a real leader in this country, you ain't it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.